Hey everyone, hi. I don't know if you were watching the previous video. Guess who got attacked by uh, dragon zombies? Right, right in the middle. Yeah, right at the very end. Yeah, that was me. That was me. Gosh, this is awful. Okay, so I'm just gonna warp all in the middle of these dragon zombies and then um, Alm can kill them all on his own. So the reason why I got attacked by these dragon zombies is because I wanted to retreat because the video was taking a bit too long, and you know, I didn't want to fight this one enemy that was on a tree. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of these battles where the difficulty is they just throw a ton of enemies at you. We've had plenty of battles like that in this game. I mean, these battles are a lot more tolerable on modern Fire Emblem games, but here, when the computer has to move very, very slowly, it's it's not as tolerable. It's really kind of painful and irritating. Okay, and then this should be it. Alm um, will just destroy this enemy. And then three-fourths of those uh, dragon zombies will come after Alm. Um, they will all die against Alm. Um, I don't know how many are going to go after our characters here to the right. Hopefully not many. Sorry, I was checking my phone instead of paying attention because I know exactly what's going to happen here. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pay attention to the actual video that I'm doing. I'll be a professional. So hey, let me talk about Fire Emblem Newslock. Okay, so um, Newslock Challenge basically limits how many characters you have in the party. You can only get one character uh, per area. Or in this case, per battle. Well, we're kind of at the end of the game. That's not really... A, a thing anymore. We don't have that many uh, new characters. I think the only characters we've gotten have been Tita and Zeke. Yeah, those are the only characters we've gotten in this chapter. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, if... And they were both separated from each other, so, you know, we didn't have to worry about getting only one character per battle because they were in totally different battles. But uh, if they had been in the exact same battle, I, I would have gone for Tita. She is way more useful with that Fortify spell. That's really super useful. Okay, how many dragon zombies are there left? Just the one? Hopefully nobody died when I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Okay, so now we'll do this waterfall battle again. There's only one enemy. There's only the one enemy. Yeah, so that was what I retreated from. It was like, Ugh, I'm so close to the end of this. I don't really want to put up with the enemy hiding on a tree. It just got like four dodges in a row, so I'm like, eh. Okay, let's have Dayut here. Let's see what Dayut does against this enemy. 28 damage. Yep, there we go. Let's hit level up for Dayut. Nice. Okay, so I'm going north to the fortress now. Don't know what this battle is going to be like. 
It's gonna be like this. Hmm. Wow, this game really loves its bow knights, doesn't it? Jeez. Okay. So that's basically the game's way of stopping me from using my uh, magic users. So I'm gonna guess the boss is here in the middle. Oh, I should have equipped the bow. Yep, that is the boss, actually, huh? What do you know? I am so good at this. It's... <laughs> it's like it's ridiculously predictable, though. Yeah, I should have had Alm equip the bow. That way Alm could counterattack all these. Yeah, see? So basically, no matter if who you're sending up through the middle, you know, whether you're going on the far right or in the middle, they're basically going to take a ton of damage. Everyone's going to attack them. That's how bow knights are just unfair. Alright, Alm does exactly half damage to this enemy. Yeah, let's see. I don't really think there's any good... What's deer do? Does that, like, attack every enemy? I have no idea what that did. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't the slightest idea. And as you can see, it's kind of... This is going to be slow uh, progress here. Because I'll have to track down every single one of these bow knight enemies. What if... I was going to say, I could warp my two characters there and then just have a just illusion a ton of enemy I mean characters to fight that'd probably be a great strategy or you know just warp somebody here or have somebody that way they're only fighting enemies on the left okay let's see who's who's the better of my enemies here. Zeke is pretty good. Gray is kind of lagging behind. Now I'm gonna go with Matilda here. Put a lot of time and effort into making Matilda a great fighter. Let's hope it pays off. So, maybe I'll move her here on the far right. Yeah, I'll move her here on the far right. All right. Yeah, presumably, you know, if I have more characters that are great. I do have more characters that are great, actually. I should warp one of them to the left. or just heals everyone of the enemies. Because wizards are jerks like that. Yeah, I don't have much to say about this battle. This is just a slow march to the inevitable conclusion where I just defeat all these enemies. So I'm actually going to have Alm go down this area next. Hmm. 
This might work. Luca's pretty strong. Luca's got terrible defense, though. Is that his weakness? No, he doesn't. Well, in that case, Luca's pretty strong. Zeke is better than Gray. I'm sorry, Gray, but it's the truth, so I'm gonna warp him. Here on the far left. Yeah, well. No, by warping characters in here, this should make the battle go a lot, uh, I mean, more quickly. At least on the far right, we'll see that Matilda and uh, uh, Luca will just destroy those two enemies now. Oh no! That's bad luck. Enemies cast Fortify. Well, I'll cast Fortify, too. Yeah, which one of you knows Fortify? It's not you. Matilda slowly, 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 um, just defeating these two enemies. There we go. I'm not gonna warp anybody into this battle. Not yet. Alton can be here. See, you can just destroy this wizard. love to just move Diute in here, but she's got no defense. She's only got magical defense. gonna easily defeat it. And then the other Bow Knight's gonna fight Alm, and then it's just gonna be another round of, hey, let's just play around with this Bow Knight, who so just attack from such a huge distance. I wish I had a Bow Knight of my own. Maybe that would have been, uh, maybe that would have been a smart idea. And then I would actually have somebody counterattack these bow knights and this battle would be like not even a third as long as it is now so here's another way to get rid of those bow knights just sort of like trap them down in the corner like Zeke's doing Actually, I'm gonna kill this one bow knight. Just because I've been complaining about bow knights being awful. The 
this is probably the better way to get rid of bow knights, which I should have thought of a long time ago. Guess what? We've got somebody on both sides of the bow knight. Now the bow knight has no way of escape. Good level up! Let's see. Cleave's got a silver shield, so it should take very little damage. Also a nice level up. And then this bow knight goes up after Alm. Gosh. Watch as that one random wizard cast Fortify for like the third time. I bet that's what's gonna happen. I bet ya. of anything, Cleave, but thank you for helping. Gosh. That bow knight dodging, I don't like that. Why are these bow knights dodging all of a sudden? Why are they all of a sudden masters at dodging? Okay, Zeke, please finish off this bow knight. No. Okay, well, I'll have to be Alm here. Alm will have to run south. Um, run south and kill that that wizard there. Oh, this enemy is going to kill Alm. I mean, die against Alm. No, it's actually going to kill Alm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who came up with this battle, but thumbs down. This is a this is just not a fun battle at all. I'm not even sure what strategy would you, you could use to make this battle go much faster, except, you know, I've got five bow knights. I mean, nobody is doing ultra damage against bow knights. go. again. Cleave is dead. There we go. Somebody besides all want to fight. Wizards cast Fortify. Because why not? Amazingly, Cleave did not die there.
Might even be a good place to, like, retreat here and just, like, reset where my characters are. But last time I retreated, as you saw, I just got hit by a bunch of dragon zombies for no reason, and so I'm just not even gonna bother with that. Matilda leveling up. Fortify again, huh? Okay, that one went after Cleave. Yeah, that's not super surprising. So Matilda leave. Or at least switch with switch items with Luca, and now Luca will get a level up with the Angel Ring. Luca's doing way more damage, actually. Ooh, that was a good level up. Okay, yeah, that was a good job. I think I'll have Luca finish off this character rather than Matilda. Okay, there you go. No more casting Fortify, you nasty, nasty, nasty. Nasty enemy. Same goes for you. Finally, like 20 minutes of just this one battle. stays in place to attack Cleave because that is its number one priority okay Zeke finish this off no yes only one left you know what you have to do Luca name for an enemy finally uh, the final battle against Rudolph ooh we're going up against Emperor Rudolph let's do this oh yeah I remember this this is kind of an interesting layout for a battle I see so you've come at last I leave this to fate as a knight of Rigel. Men, you fought well. The Rigelian Empire's time has ended. Hear me, all of you. This is my final request. If I should fall, don't interfere. Those remaining should surrender courageously. Don't feel disgraced. If I die, the battle is over. Where are you, Emperor Rudolph? And how can I warp directly to you and end the battle quickly? There he is, he's there. Okay, he's there. Because that last battle is so horrific. Just so, so horrific. Um, Alm, Alm. I will have Alm just defeat the boss in one turn. Oh no! Why won't Rudolph attack? Rudolph will not attack Alm. Plot points. Why won't Rudolph attack? Alm attacks. Why won't Rudolph attack? And then everybody else here is just gonna die on Alm. Uh, the other enemies are just gonna kinda come close to my characters, but maybe not do anything, right? See all these characters, they, they, they're not really, they're not really anything to worry about. Yeah, all know, I wish the preceding battle wasn't just so awful and just put the taste of battle out of my mouth. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have fun with this battle of fighting all these various enemies. Because this looks like it's a fair group of enemies. It looks like they're pretty strong.
No, oh, no, those are more bonites. Ew. Not in the mood for more of those enemies. Well, enough complaining. I'm almost done with this chapter. <laughs> Final battle of chapter number five, right? I mean, chapter number four. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this would be interesting. What I'd probably do is like put enemy characters here, like to build a bridge to stop the enemy thing, except then these Bonites would attack our characters who are on the bridge too. So you have to be kind of clever about that. And on kills Rudolph. Om, you've grown up well. Was it no mistake trusting you to Sir Meissen after all? You figured it out by now, right? Your full name is Albine Alm Rudolph, my only son. Here's my request. Use the holy sword Falchion to defeat Doma and save Mila. And we got an angel ring. Oh, we got another angel ring. Okay, so um, let's, let's give somebody this angel ring. Here, Ryoto, you can have it. You can have it for now. Where's my angel ring? Here it is. Who gets it? Well, the only person who can take it. Cramps? Whoa, language alm. What's going on? An evil man like King Rudolph's my father? Alm, I understand you're shocked, but now you're the only heir of Rigel. But why? Wh why didn't you tell me this when I declared war on Rigel? Don't cry, alm. Here, let me clarify. <clears throat> Valencia was divided between Mila and Doma. Those gods were mean and messing things up, and, you know, they destroyed the balance. So Rudolph posed as a destroyer to instigate to the advent of true heroes. So wait, he started war to create true heroes? Are you kidding me? I place his newborn child. He said, this child will consign himself to hell's fire. And so I left it to fate. Can't let this sacrifice be in vain. Go underground and slay the evil god Doma. And that is the end of chapter number four. Mycin joined our party. Wow, that's cool. Chapter five, reunion. Yet, yet. Okay, what kind of stats do you have there, Mycin? Not bad. Not bad. Long live King Rudolph II. Oh, that's my name now? Prince Albin, I'm General Mycena, the captain of the guards. We've heard. No, are you gonna join my party too or not? Long live King Rudolph II. Long live King Rudolph II. Can I go through doors? If you go down these stairs, you'll reach Doma's altar. There's no return. Please take care, your highness. Yep. Okay, this is my castle. So yes. There's no return after we go down these stairs. Down these stairs is a terrible, terrible maze. Selica is somewhere in this maze. We will join her and fight the final battle. Yeah, see, the door is closed behind us. So can I go through this maze? I imagine we'll have plenty of enemies in this maze. Creepy music. Selica's party is fighting. Oh no, okay, so if you don't go through this maze quickly enough, Selica's party will be destroyed. They are losing HP and everything. Oh, and it looks like there's a fancy treasure there too. Yep, there's Selica's party. Wow, that doesn't look like Selica's party at all, actually. <laughs> Selica! Hi, Selica. Om, um, help us. At this rate, everybody is gonna die. Okay, so I need to go through this maze and save Selica. But which area do I go through? I'm going down here. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know my way through this maze at all. But I have to go right because I was... There's nothing here. There must be a secret pathway. 
There's no way they would give us an empty room. Let's try every single wall. Maybe they were clever and put it like here. No. Oh no, you can hear it. Evil boss. Okay, I thought I tried every inch of the wall to the right. I could be wrong. And obviously it's not gonna be the wall to the north. There's no hidden place there. I'll try it. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. No! There's no way I'll be able to do anything. Great. No, here we go. You know what I'm betting this is now? I'm betting this is sort of like the other maze we were in, where it's like if you lose, you get thrown all the way down here at the beginning again. And that's what this area was, but I'm stupid, so I went there first. There's no way we can get through these walls, by the way. Um, those are walls. So Celica's party is fighting. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we fall down here, and some of them... Okay, so it's obviously not the top right one that we go down. Perhaps it's the top left one. It's kind of a mean maze puzzle. I think I might be able to go through some of these walls to reach that, that, that treasure chest to the north, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, let's do bottom right now. Ooh, hey. Drop me here against some enemies! <gasps> oh no. Let's see, I'll throw Alm in the middle. This actually looks pretty- oh my gosh! Swamp Goo goes up every single turn? That's a mean trick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight this battle and then just stop. Oh, hey, and those biggles again. They're all summoning extra biggles. Yay. Please tell me I put an angel ring on Diute. I did not. That would have been smart. <laughs> Ryuto has an angel ring because, yeah. So everybody takes damage, but most of them heal. Okay, mass assault. Let's go for it. Let's not even try to strategize. Let's just, just attack everyone. Strategizing probably would have been a better choice. Yeah. There we go. Six characters to beat one enemy. What is this? Oh, five. Whatever. That was still ridiculous there. Okay, so it makes sense that our final battle, I mean, the you know, the final chapter is just giant maze with a bunch of battles. It just makes me wish that I knew if I was going in the right direction, because, you know, what if I am going in the wrong direction and then all this battle is for nothing? Oh, yeah, that's just nasty. That's, that's the worst. At least Alm will be able to feed all these enemies up here. Mm 
Let's see what these biggles do. Hmm. Even Gray can't attack a biggle. That's sad. And yeah, biggles are summoning other biggles. Good job, Zeke. Relatively. Relatively speaking. Kinda wish more of those enemies were going after Alm. Can't you give your angel ring? Give it to Diute. Be a pal. Okay, good job, Luca. Let's see. Salt can summon illusion. Nice, nice, nice. Let's actually, see what Tita does here. Nothing. Job Cleave. Gray can't do anything against Biggles, can he? No. Oh, I guess. Can. It's just not likely. Oh, and I guess I, if I was smart, I would memorize which Biggle is like the original one. Because maybe that would kill all the other ones that it summons. Maybe? We'll see. Okay. So this should be good. I mean, everybody... Well, I was going to say all the High Knights will def be defeated by Alm. But that's clearly not the case. Uh, with those magic knights, the Biggles should be defeated uh, way more quickly. Yeah, okay, see. All, all defeating these high knights is great. That's what this witch does. It just leaves? Okay. Okay, you can do that. Not very smart, but you can do it. Okay, five damage. Oh wow. Okay, the pickles and the the others do the same amount of damage to each other. Okay, wow. Pickles do huge damage to Diute. Oh, she gets lots of experience from them, so that's good. Looks like we've reached the end of the um, the swamp goo going up. So glad we finally reached the end of that. Yeah, and the mist should just take care of these biggles for us. doing super well against them, but it's okay. Yeah, like 
the idea of healing Diute. Okay, Alm could defeat this enemy here. Wow, what? No, not fair. have Tita. I don't know what Psychic does. Um, so I'll have her attack this enemy instead. And that does nothing, so let's have Soul Kill Cleave. Let's see, how far can this enemy travel? Four, one, two, three, four. Mmm... Oh, okay, there's another level of swamp goo. I think hopefully the Biggles will go after... after Diute there, and she'll be able to defeat them. will be able to defeat at least one of these these biggles. Or they'll just spread their attention across multiple biggles and then do nothing. Okay. There we go. There's one that might be dead. Okay, good. Like I said, I don't know if we, uh, if, if, if you defeat the original biggle, if that gets rid of all the other ones it's summoned. That would be nice if that's the case, and then all of a sudden, all these biggles disappear. That'd be great for our heroes. Okay, here we go. Warp Alm right here. And Mycin right there. That way that one enemy won't be able to attack Diute. Oh. Goes after Ryuto. Oh. I didn't need to warp Alm. Hmm. Yep. So all that's left are the Biggles. And it's gonna go after Diute. She levels up. Okay, only three left. Okay, come on, Mist. You can do this. Yes. Okay, you might be able to do something here. There we go. Oh gosh, tell me somebody's close enough to defeat that last big ol'. You might do it. Okay, Cleave, go for it. Okay, so. 
Did we actually make it anywhere near Celica? It does not look like it. <laughs> evil, 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 evil. Treasury, only Rigelian royalty beyond this point. That's me. Oh, that is me. Okay. Gosh. And so this long video becomes a little bit longer. I imagine that will be that cool treasure. Okay, so I accidentally found the cool treasure uh, rather than the exit to Celica, but that's okay. Oh, these are whites, huh? These are just clearly bone lockers, but they're a different color. I guess that healing towel would have been nice if all was at all, like, low level. Which he's not. But yeah, it would have been good. That way you only fight one of these enemies at a time. So since that's not the case, let's make this battle go slightly faster by just pitting Alm right here. And that way he'll fight enemies on all sides. Mostly just left and right, I imagine. Not all sides. Nobody's going to come at him from the top. Okay, whites, you're not even a challenge. You should just give up and go home. Okay, please tell me the last two can reach Alm on this turn so I don't have another turn. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, really? It's gonna be the same thing, right? Except these are slightly, these are death gargoyles. Oh no. Oh, geez, and the tiles get warped from one place to another, so you can't use the uh, healing tiles? That's a cruel trick. It's clearly not going to affect me whatsoever. I'm clearly just going to defeat all these death gargoyles. That would be a cruel trick if I was not strong enough to defeat these death goyles. Oh no! It got a critical hit. If they all got critical hits, I would still be alive and win this battle, so... Yeah. Alm's just overpowered at this point. Good for him. Salka's so, party's fighting, oh no. Two dragons, okay. I bet they're super power dragons too. White dragons, ooh. You guys aren't even a, a challenge anymore. Oh, maybe I have to actually do this battle in order to get that sword Falchion, which is the only one that can defeat the boss. Fingers crossed that's it. Yes, that is great. Okay, so I got the really, really cool weapon. Only Alm can use it, and it 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 attacks the boss. Also, I think if Alm and Salika stand next to each other, that's a guaranteed hit, too. I think that is also a guaranteed hit. I think that's another way this game works. Okay. So we've done half of the maze, it looks like. We haven't done, like, all the maze. Okay, if I'd taken any step there, I would have fallen down to the bottom. Okay, so, next time in the next video, 
I'll go down uh, one of these two exits to the maze and just fingers crossed I pick the right one, the one which lets me reach Celica. Alright, see you then.